Hello everyone, Superintendent Brian Davis here coming to you with some updates on our short-term virtual learning model. Now trust me, the last thing that we want to do is move into virtual learning and one of our highest priorities is to be able to stay in person. But the reality is when we've got a COVID surge as we will have over the next two to three weeks, along with our staffing shortages, we just may have to move into virtual learning in the short term. Now we really see this as a bridge between um, our in-person learning experiences for our students. Um, and so we, we are truly meaning that this is short term. Um, that means that we have some uh, significant changes in our short-term virtual learning model compared to what we had last year, both at the elementary and secondary level. So I ask that you read the details that are included um, in the letter that's accompanying this video um, and go through at your appropriate level um, what those details are. There's, there's information about there on instructional delivery along with food service and some other important details. So please read through those um, so we can anticipate uh, what's upcoming. Uh, again, hopefully we don't have to use this, but we want to just make sure that we're paired. So so, and I just ask again that as we're moving throughout the next couple of weeks, um, we just continue to band together. We've been through some difficult times. Uh, I'm sure we can get through them. Again, showing each other civility and being able to continue to do what's best for our students. So thank you so much for your patience uh, and understanding in these difficult times. Be well, everyone.